Hello, good evening peeps and uh, welcome to the very first episode of what I'm gonna call this new series I'm gonna do. I'm gonna call it Deliveroo Dash. So welcome to the very 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 first episode we're gonna do. What exactly is Deliveroo Dash you may ask? Well, Deliveroo Dash is us trying to earn as much money as we can between 7pm on to about 10 or 11 p.m. And actually we've gotten our first order already, which I will post onto the screen. Ling San Liu Ling. Ling San Liu Ling. Is yes. Alright, first order picked up. And I'll continue explaining what's the concept behind this um, new series I'm gonna do. So basically, um, as you know, our weekends are pretty much spent on food panda. And I wanted to find out if it was um, worthwhile to do dinner shifts, uh, weekday dinner shifts on Deliveroo. So that's what we're going to do in this uh, new series. And I mean, the goal is just to make as much money as possible. And I will take certain things into consideration such as um, our hourly rate, compare that against Food Panda, uh, compare that maybe against Grab, I don't know, I'm probably not. Because I haven't done Grab in like forever. So yeah, that's the plan. For now, what I'm thinking is that based on my schedule, we'll, we should be able to uh, work Deliveroo on Tuesday and Thursday evenings. And uh, you know, if that goes well, and if it's worthwhile to do, we'll keep it up. And I'm um, not sure if you all know this, but we are on our Mido Pro instead of uh, the Comex because um, I want the Comex to be used mainly for my weekends and uh, since the Mido Pro hasn't been used in a while we'll jump on the Mido Pro to do these deliveries okay and actually that was um super near delivery location I think less than a kilometer I do apologize for the front light that's shaking really badly Originally, it was mounted to the front of my fork, but the angle that it was set at, it was uh, shining upwards a little bit into people's eyes. So I had to DIY a little bit and mount it on my handlebar so that it pointed downwards. But it's not very stable, so it bounces around a lot. So I'm sorry if that's uh, annoying to you guys. But I have ordered um, new mounts. Hopefully, those arrive soon and then we can uh, have a stable front light. Hello, Deliveroo! Lucky a bicycle because motorcycle is one big road. Bicycle can shortcut straight away. Yeah, I shortcut also. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and next we have a new order coming in, which is asking us to go to the Midtown and deliver to Akang Street 51. Another five dollars. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, I'll catch you guys when uh, we're reaching the Midtown. So I'll see you in a bit. So it's our second order since starting at seven. Okay, and uh, for delivery dash, I have brought out all three batteries of my Mido Pro. I'll be running my e bike and Mode 3, and we'll try and run at the maximum speed our Mido can push us. Uh, for most of the journey or journeys, in my opinion, there's no point for me to try and uh, conserve battery because we'll be just working for maybe three to four hours at most. So we have all three batteries on us, and I'm okay to just deplete them as we go and just swap them out when needed. So with that being said, I'm br I'll bring you guys back when uh, we're dropping off this second order. Let's keep the dash going. Okay, and as you can see, we do have to verify this delivery by asking for the two-digit code. I think this is new for Singapore, but if you watch delivery vlogs in like the UK and other countries, um, actually this two-digit verification pin or code is quite common for them. Hello, do you have your two-digit? Uh, nine, nine six, huh? Thank you. Okay. Okay, brilliant, we're getting another one already. Ishiro Fusion Bowl, but it's going all the way to 106C Pongo Fuel Walk. And it's only paying 785. That's mad. I'm rejecting it. Okay, 
this is much better. It's asking us to go back towards Aukang Central to pick up some fish soup and deliver it into Singkang. I can do that. Going down. All right, we'll arrive at the restaurant to pick up the noodles order. And uh, as you can see on the screen, we have received an additional one. I accepted it because um, the box is pretty close to each other and it's paying an additional 478 if I'm not wrong. So that is uh, making the most of our trip. So that's what we're going to do. This is it. Okay, that's the first one collected. And then we need to go to uh, another coffee shop along Aukang Avenue 10 to pick up some zilta. Alright. Okay, so so far my experience with Deliveroo has been pretty good. Um, the one thing that I like is that you can reject orders freely and there's no consequences to that. The only time you would have quote unquote consequences is when they are running a incentive or quest and you have to meet a acceptance rate or stay below a certain cancellation rate, stuff like that. But for us, right, we really can cherry pick the orders that we want to complete on Deliveroo because you know as mentioned they don't have any penalties if you keep rejecting orders unlike the other platforms such as grab or food panda that's why you know for these weekday evenings i do feel like delivery will be the best option for us because we get to choose to do orders that would benefit us and uh, help us get the most money within a very very limited amount of time and let's go get this second order picked up i do hope it's ready because my experience with this shop is that they tend to take quite a while to prepare all this so fingers crossed it's ready thank you that is brilliant the order was ready and for the first customer we have 2.3 km to go which is uh, pretty decent if you ask me it's not that far at all just have to squeeze this order in make sure we tie it up okay so this means that we have picked up orders 3 and 4 and we are on the way to drop off order number 3 So I'm going to see you guys when we are reaching the customer location See you on a bit Alright, we have reached and we are first delivering the fish soup order and we have a 2 digit code to verify as well The customer left his code on the door, which is brilliant. And when I keep the code in, it was correct. And then we have, uh, what, 600 meters to drop this off? That's brilliant. I'll bring you guys back when we drop off order number four. And we'll see what type of orders we get next. Let's keep going. Okay. We are here. Let's go up. Oh, here we are. Hello. Thank you. Okay. We're getting another one. $4.64, but it is pretty far. Hmm. I think I'm going to reject it. Let's see if something better comes in. Time check is uh, 8.08, so we have completed four orders in a span of one hour, so that's pretty good. And uh, yeah, let's see, we have a new order. Compass one and sending across to Fernvale. No, I don't want that. It's, it's too long a distance for... Where did I come from? It's too long a distance for too little money. Come on, Deliveroo, you can do better than that. Okay, we have one collecting nearby and it's crossing over into Coral Edge. I don't think it's that far. Hmm, I don't want to cross. Reject. Okay. Yes, this is much better. We're collecting a Riverville Drive and going back towards Upper Serangoon Crescent. Let me take a screenshot before I forget. And let's go. I'll see you guys when we reach the restaurant. See you in a bit. Uh, 0452. Thank you. Okay, that's picked up. We have 2.1 kilometers to go and drop this off. 
I do have to say though, I do miss riding on my Mido Pro. I always say it's a very good beginner's e-bike. The only gripe or complaint is the battery size, but that's about all. Other than that, it's a brilliant e-bike to ride, very enjoyable and easy to use. See you guys when I am at the customer. Alrighty, we're here. There's a pretty quick journey over. Is it the two digit code? Ah, uh, yes, one eight. One eight. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, we're getting another one which is going to Alkang Central and then coming back to where we are. You know what? It's not really that far. Paying 540, let's do it. So with that accepted, we'll bring you guys back when we're reaching the restaurant. And we are headed over to Goat House Residences. I am pretty thankful it's not um, Kingsford Water Bay. Both house residences still smaller condo. Don't have to walk so far. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, time check is 8.36. I uh, can't exactly remember how many orders we have done so far. But I think this should be order number 5 or so. Uh, we're very lucky today that uh, the rain didn't come down. The last time I did a delivery shift, it was raining pretty badly. But I will say, the rain did make the orders a little bit better, pay a little bit more. But of course, we want a safe environment to work in. And uh, riding in the rain at night is not ideal at all. Okay, so we have about one more km to reach our customer. And I'll see you guys when we do. Okay, we're here. That was a pretty quick journey over. Abang, I'm yeah. ready for you. Come, come. Oh. Delivery right? Yes. First time here? No, a few times. Ah, okay. Mm. Ah. Okay. Mom, oh, you want to park here? I jump up for you, park here. Okay. Oh, well, they're asking me to park in a different place. Which is okay with me. Although I have always parked here. And uh, they haven't really uh, said much about it. Yep. No worries. Understand? Okay. Thank you. We're getting another order, picking up from Long John Silver at Alkang Mall, but delivering into Serangoon North. I don't like Serangoon North. Reject. Right now on the map, it says moderate, so hopefully we can get a few more orders. Yeah. So we've done six orders and we're just at about $30. So. For me, if I were to come out and uh, do a shift, my goal would be to hit $50. So we still have time to do that. Time now is 8.46. And I'll bring you guys back when we get another order. So I'll see you on a bit. Alright guys, we are picking up order number 7. Uh, this one is pretty short distance as well. I know exactly where we're going. And um, the only unfortunate thing is we're only getting paid $4 for this. But it's okay. I do prefer to be working rather than sitting around waiting for an order. Okay, and for this order, we have 1 p.m. So, let's be on our way. Hello, delivering to block 72. Thank you. On the journey here, I was thinking to myself, what if the orders go quiet? What would I do? Mm, I think that I'll give myself maximum like 30 minutes to wait for an order. And after that, I'll call it a day. Because uh, whilst we want to make the most money of the time that we have we also don't want to waste our time doing nothing right yeah hopefully the orders don't die out on us time now is 9.05 so we've got about an hour more fingers crossed let's hope for the best let's go let's go let's go hello do you have the code uh, 18. 18 okay thank you again 
we are getting the order. If I can screenshot and show you. Long John Silvers. Delivering to Avenue Serangoon North Avenue 4. We're gonna reject that. If we do get it again and the pay is higher, I may do it. Just now it was paying 677 if I'm not wrong. Okay. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Should we do this? Picking up from Alkang Avenue 10, delivering to Compassville Walk. That's really far though. Let me reject it. Come on. Come on. Give me something better. Fingers crossed we get something better. But in any case, I'll bring you guys back when we're working on our next order. So I'll see you on a bit. Alright guys. Would you believe it? Just when I was about to call it a day and uh, decide to head home. We've gotten a pretty decent order. Very, very short distance. Unfortunately, the payout is only $4. But we're going to do it anyways. It's picking up from Fatty Bomb Bomb, which is a western store. Um, and then that's along Outcome Avenue 5. And as for the delivery, it's just um, a little bit further down the road. So we're going to do that. Time now is 9.30. Um, if after we complete this order, we still don't get anything decent, we're going to call it a day and go home. We have been seeing a lot more of those PMAs, is it? Private Mobility PMD? PMA? I, I have no clue. But it's those like electric vehicles that are meant more for i feel elderly who have difficulty walking etc and they need those to get around but uh, nowadays i'm seeing like it's getting more and more popular to do food deliveries on and like the person doesn't even majority of the time isn't even like an old person is like a young chap or an uncle who just uses it to do food deliveries i'm not saying that it's wrong but i feel like it's going to be something that is uh, abused and like similar to e-scooters back in the day but uh, hopefully it doesn't get to that but I do think that soon we'll see more LTA regulations on that so yeah, we're just pulling up to the restaurant let's go check if it's ready Thank you And you know, sometimes it's good to be working in a place or a zone that you're very familiar with so that you know what are the better roads to take rather than just following the GPS all the time if I were to follow the GPS on this order we'll probably have like I don't know two and a half kilometers to go but by following my own route and I'm still on the road yeah we cut that down to like less than a kilometer for this order I uh, recently bought a lot of stuff off Shopee to sort of like beef up my equipment that I use for food deliveries I think I'll screenshot and send you guys put it up on screen so you guys can see what I'm buying I'm sure you guys already have a um, list of equipment that you guys use for food deliveries but hopefully if somebody new is watching my video and if you are new, help me to press that subscribe button uh, but if you are somebody new you can reference what I use and hopefully it will help you out look at that, beautiful we have arrived at the delivery location in like less than 5 minutes <laughs> Oh, we've got another one Oh, jeez Super close as well Let's do it Honestly, it feels kind of weird to be like out doing deliveries on a weekday evening but I'm pretty happy with how things are going so far We may not be able to hit our goal of $50 but we'll have to see our hourly rate and uh, you know, decide from there Thank you Alright, that was a really nice, look like a teenager so shout out to him he noticed he asked me what's my order and then noticed that they didn't pack it so he said i do it for you right now he straight away did the order for me and passed it over so you know what thanks bro that was very nice of you and as for the delivery location let's see how far we need to go <laughs> one minute it's literally 500 meters away maybe delivery feels bad that uh it wasn't giving us good orders and so it's giving us like <clears throat> two back to back short, easy, fast orders to do. Let's get back on the road and I do think that this may be 
last order of this evening. Time check for us right now, it is uh, 9.50 p.m. So in 10 more minutes, it's going to be 10. The orders aren't flowing so well until I want to like stay out to 11. So yeah, honestly, I think it's going to be our last order. And we'll head home from there. Let's go. I'm pretty happy that I got these carabiners. It really helps to keep the food, the drinks, the liquids in particular, helps to keep them upright and uh, reduces the chances of spillage. So you can reference the uh, items that I bought off Shopee. Some of the items like those carabiners I brought from like a convenience mart. So yeah, some things you can buy online and some things you can just get it from your local mall and stuff. Hello. What's the code? One five. One five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much. We're getting another one. Oh my gosh. It is collecting nearby at Kim Lee Seafood Akang Avenue 5 and delivering into Akang Avenue 5 as well. We're gonna take this. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Okay, that was like less than five minutes and we're at the restaurant. Let's go see if order is ready. Brilliant, it is really. We just need to go over to a block along this same avenue, which is pretty brilliant to me. And the total distance for this order is like less than a kilometer. Pretty decent, pretty decent. Hello. Thank you. Okay. We are gonna go offline. That was pretty good. Let's check how many orders we did. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten orders done. And we are at $45.99. We'll round that up to $46. So $46, we'll calculate our hourly rate. We work for like what? Three hours, I think from seven. $15.33 per hour. Hey, that's pretty decent if you ask me. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. We only needed like um, one battery and mode 3. And I can tell you we were pushing this e-bike pretty hard, honestly. As I mentioned, this Deliveroo Dash series is a, it's all about making as much money as we can within a very, very short period of time. And hopefully it can be something sustainable and something that is actually worth our the effort to do. 15 per hour for 3 hours, pretty decent if you ask me. And actually all the deliveries that we did were all within the Aukang area. I know we did go into Sengkang, but that was like what? 2, maximum 3 orders that were in Sengkang. All the rest were in Aukang, which is our home turf. And uh, yeah, I think today has been pretty fruitful. Episode 1 of this uh, Deliveroo Dash series. I hope you guys like this content. I plan to keep the videos like 15 to 20 minutes so it's like easy fast entertainment instead of my normal food panda vlogs where you know it can cover a five to seven hour shift so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh if you did help me to like share and if you want to continue seeing such content help me hit that subscribe button it's absolutely free and it's the best way to help out the channel and it definitely motivates me to produce more videos like this Alright, ciao guys, peace.